But first, a big change in the Killingly School District. Democrats have taken control of the school board, and we'll see what that means moving forward. Thanks for joining us for the News at 11. I'm Mike Heideck. And I'm Keisha Grant. They were swept into power in the middle of controversy over the district's response to students' mental health concerns. NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin joining us live in Hartford with much more. Matt. Yeah, so Mike and Keisha, the state is still reviewing the mental health issue at Killingly Schools with a hearing held right here today and more being planned. Some parents are thinking that a new school board could have an impact. You all have a really tough job ahead of you. Tonight, Democrats taking control of the Killingly Board of Education following wins in the November election. I'm really happy about the changeover. Um, I was originally very upset about the state of mental health with the school systems, and I think that this new board is really going to make a lot of changes, changes for the better. Parents and students have been pushing for more resources. Help us! Help our kids! Especially since a previous board rejected a mental health center at the high school last year with families believing additional services are badly needed today the state department of education continued its look into whether the district is meeting the needs of students the csde would be extremely happy if we were to find that they are implementing material interventions but right now we haven't seen that the district's attorney says they have beefed up some programs Tonight, the board's new chairperson saying she wants to move forward in the best direction for the kids. I can't say how that's going to look or um, what will pan out, but I, I do believe um, that we'll get through it. We just we need some time and we will give our students the resources that they need. One parent who was among those who originally filed a complaint with the state says the board could reach an agreement with the education department or take steps to make sure needs are met and a new board could mean progress. Very hopeful very hopeful. And as the new board's work gets underway, the state is planning more hearings in the coming weeks and then finally will make a decision. Lifetime in Hartford, Matt Austin, NBC Connecticut News. Mike, back to you. Matt.